Hey everybody, Jake here from Bearded Gear, and it is the end of a very long work day for me. You know, I am quite sunburnt <laughs> to do some stuff outside today for a couple hours, and it is still really hot in Southern California. It was like 85 de degrees today, and uh, I was in direct sunlight for a while. So, you're not making me nervous, I'm just sunburnt. Anyway, I have a box I need to open. I was actually supposed to open this yesterday, but ended up working late, and it was a whole thing, and um, it's important to me to show you guys the unboxing of this. I, uh, I, I like doing unboxing videos, so I'm going to open it with this because I uh, felt like using an overkill knife at the moment, <laughs> and uh, since I'm in basketball shorts and I'm just kind of carrying something around the house for fun and for this, uh, I can carry whatever I want at the moment. The Microtech Hawk Auto seemed like the right call. I just realized I should probably make a couple more cuts here. I might just open this like a savage. Anyways, if you haven't already read the uh, title of this video, I assume you probably did. Most people do before they click on a video, but if you haven't, uh, this is from my buddy behind Cerberus Knives. Now, if you're familiar with the transformation my Para 3 has undergone, uh, you'll know it's currently wearing some Cerberus scales. It is wearing the Cerberus Worker 3 scales that are kind of Strider-esque in shape. And uh, I purchased those on one of the drops and was just excited to get them. And then um, anytime I shoot a video of a maker's gear, um, whether I bought it or sometimes they uh, sent it to me or stuff like this, that I'm usually very open about that. If I'm not, it's just because I don't think of it in the moment. But um, anytime that I shoot a video of somebody's gear, I go ahead and just send them links to the videos that I make because I figure they'd probably appreciate the feedback, etc. And so I sent them over to my buddy behind Cerberus Knives, and uh, he seemed to enjoy them. And now he's got a couple of things for me to check out. Now these are just loaners, um, so I won't have them forever, but a couple of things for me to see and review and give him some feedback on. And so I'm excited about the opportunity. One of the things in here is the knife that he designed that is coming from Artisan Cutlery and is not available for purchase yet, but I believe will be relatively soon. I'm one of the few reviewers that he asked to check it out and give him some feedback, so I am excited about that. That's a cool thing that I get to do. The other thing is a set of scales and some hardware for me to try out on my Shaman. Um, much like my Worker 3 scales, there are also what he calls Shaman Worker scales, and so we're going to see how those do. But in here, <laughs> this pouch is just a bunch of parts. So let me try to show you these without losing anything. In here we have some Shaman scales and liners and everything, which is good. So here is the liner, as you can see, compression lock on that side. You can see the washer is still in there. The pivot is on that side. Um, but these are not typical shaman shaped scales. These are his worker shaped scales. So it's gonna to totally change the profile of the shaman. Now, what is really, really cool about these scales is you'll notice this is the show side and you don't see any clip holes, clip screw holes, <laughs> nothing there. On a normal shaman, there would be some holes there. But on this side, you will notice there are some clip screw holes, but they're not in the normal spot. Typically, the shaman clip goes somewhere right around here. Here, you can see that he has created a backspacer that you can screw the clip into so that it actually carries way deeper than a shaman typically does. So I am stoked about that. With a deep carry clip on this, it'll actually really go beyond the butt of the knife from what it looks like and even with a factory shaman clip on it it'll now sit as deep as probably my shaman does right now with a deep carry clip on it so very very cool that is honestly my favorite part of on paper <laughs> maybe i'm just gonna also love the scales to begin with and they'll be my new favorite shaman scales but one of the few complaints that i had about the Para 3 scales is that with those Para 3 scales, 
the clip so it's even less deep carry. So even with a deep carry on it, it really just doesn't carry that deep now. Um, I still have those scales on that knife, and I thought at some point I'd probably switch back and forth, um, but I really... I, the, the longer I spend with that pair of three, I'll probably do an update video more long term eventually because I'm just finding I adore it set up the way it is. So here is the updated backspacer. This is of course a custom backspacer. This is going to now fit the shape of these scales so it does it's not going to be like weirdly set in. If you put a factory backspacer in here, you can see from where those holes are that it would be kind of nested in in a weird way that wouldn't look so good. So this one will now come follow the lines of the scales themselves and provide that spot where they are threaded for you to screw the clip in, which is really, really cool. So um, let's see, in here we've also got, I see the pivot screw, the other washer, and just hardware. So, oh, and the stop pin. And there's another screw in there, but this is kind of hard to show you. There's just hardware here. Come on. <laughs> hardware. Ooh, very exciting. Um, I actually, I'm going to be meeting him in person. We talked on the phone the other day, which was great, and uh, he seems like a really cool dude. Um, I'd already messaged with him a bunch online, but it's always fun to talk to the makers. But anyways, um, I will be meeting him at California Custom Knife Show this weekend, and he mentioned I need longer clip screws. So I'll probably assemble this knife before then. I'll probably share that, but it, I won't be putting the clip on until I get those screws from him. Um, I'm sure he has scales and parts everywhere at his shop. So it is understandable that he doesn't know where they are. I feel like I'm looking like reflective today. I'm also playing with the lighting in here. This is weird. Not what I mean to say. All right, now, the other exciting part of this unboxing is a complete knife. This one's not just parts. This one I don't need to do anything to. I just get to enjoy. Um, now, he did let me know that this knife has been thoroughly beaten on. And not only has it gone to a couple of other reviewers to check out, but he, before sending it to other reviewers, was really rough on it intentionally to test this knife. So he said the centering might not be perfect, although it looks really close to me. I mean, it's maybe like 55, 45, <laughs> it's close. Um, but uh, yeah, what the the reason why he did a lot of personal testing on this is because they used RPM9 on it, which is not a steel I've ever even used, ever, or owned on any knife. So that's interesting. Um, so we'll see how the steel does as well for me. I'm not going to be going too crazy with this knife, although it's it's used enough that I think he's probably cool with me cutting stuff with it, for sure. So I will be carrying this knife and we'll be using it a little bit. Um, I feel terrible. I forget the name of this knife. I should have looked at my phone right before, but it's not even released yet. This is still just a prototype. I will put in the description the name of the knife. Um, I'll also be linking Cerberus Knives Instagram, and I believe he's got a site. I'll link that as well, um, assuming I'm correct, and he does have one. But yeah, so this is the full titanium scaled version of this knife. He also has a prototype right now in a micarta show scale, still a titanium lock side because it is a frame lock. Um, but I really, on the surface, I already liked the aesthetic simplicity of this knife and the fact that it's a hole for deployment. We all know I love that. And uh, it's just got a very simple kind of form factor, if that's the right term. <laughs> it's Spidey Flicks. Um, it's got a nice edge on it. This has to have been resharpened since he got it with all the use he told me he put it through. It's a good sharp edge. Um, I can definitely tell it's got like some scuffs and things on it, which is great. This is a prototype. I'm all for prototypes getting used and used hard, um, especially by him, the designer of the knife. I think that's cool that he really wanted to put this knife through its paces before he even sent it to any reviewers. Um, that's a, a cool thing. I like that he's making sure that this is what he wanted out of it. Um, 
It's slightly bigger than I was expecting it to be, although not by much. I knew it was going to be roughly this size, but I guess in person it just feels a little bit more um, substantial isn't even the word because it feels very thin. But anyways, I'll be doing a, a first impressions video on this. I'll put it in pocket tomorrow, and then uh, hopefully at the end of the day tomorrow I'll be able to sit down and, and film some first impressions. I'll do a little bit of cutting with it and all that, and then it will, of course, get a full review after about a week of carry and use. And, uh, yeah, this is interesting. I dig the profile. I like the way it feels in hand. It's, it's odd because in some ways this knife feels small, but in others it feels kind of large. And it's, uh, it's kind of messing with my brain a little bit here at the moment. I like the action. Very cool. So, this is exciting. This is a prototype, prototype knife, and only a few other people have gotten to see this in person. Um, he's got a bunch of photos of these on his Instagram. You can see the micarta one there as well. Um, so, it's not like this knife is a secret, but it's not available yet, and I get the privilege of checking it out. So, very cool. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be very honest about how I feel about it because I think that's why he gave it to me to check out is to provide feedback. Um, so whether it's super positive or super negative. I already know it's not going to be super negative because this feels cool, but um, I'm going to be feeling it out and, and uh, putting in video form all of my thoughts about this guy. So, sorry that I forgot the name of it momentarily, but it'll be in probably the description as well as the, uh, oh, I should say the title and the description. It's late, guys. I'm sorry. It has been a full day by the time I've gotten to this point. Um, but I'm here, and we're rocking it either way. Uh, sweet. So we've got two things. We've got the Shaman scales. I don't know why I held up just the backspacer. We've got the worker scales with the clip relocation backspacer, which is very exciting. And we've got this prototype knife to check out. So thank you so much to my buddy Christian. I appreciate it, dude. It is uh, very cool of you to send this over for me to check out. And... Uh, yeah, I'll be meeting him on, in person at CCKS in a couple of days, which is also exciting. Knife show in 2020. Can you believe it? All right, my friends. <laughs> That's plenty for tonight. Thank you so much. I appreciate you watching, and I will see you again very soon, I'm sure.